Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is a love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So if you identify as one of these signs or you do have Virgo in your chart, you are going to be um, treated to this reading. So look, um, before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I love you forever. Let's have a look and see what's coming up for you, Virgo. This is going to be your next big love. So if you're looking to hook up, if you're looking for romance, we might just see who it's going to be with here, Virgo. So let's give the cards a shuffle. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who's coming in for Virgo? Okay, they're coming up as the Justice card. Very powerful person. Possibly under the sign of a Libra here, you've got the scales. Um, straight away, I feel like you've got someone who is of a high power or a high standing. So very influential person that's coming your way. Very attractive as well, though. Okay, very ambitious, but big on equality, fairness, really fair, really just, really by the book is what I'm getting. Um, but they could work in like with the courts, psychology, crime, criminology, um, district attorney. Um, they could work for the government, anything to do with like civil civil stuff um they wear a uniform is what i'm getting but i feel like they um they have some sort of achievement i get that they're a high achiever virgo okay you've got aquarius they might have aquarius in their chart or you might be meeting libra aquarius pisces um during these times Okay, I feel like this this person could be married. Okay, I'm coming up with marriage. I'm coming up with... They might not be uh, as emotionally available as you want them to be. Emotionally, they're coming as the page and the night. So I'm getting it. Might, I mean, for some of you, it's going to be someone who's just come off the back of a marriage. Uh, divorced. You know, something like this. Um, that's the vibe I'm getting with this person, okay? Um, they could also work with like legal stuff in marriages it could be like legal disputes they could be a divorce lawyer um they could work with companies that do this sort of stuff here but marriage is really coming up next to them but it could also indicate that this is the person that you're going to marry okay pages are sometimes seen as young children um so they might be coming in with a teenage child or you might end up having a child with them virgo the possibilities are big here around marriage and family next to this person um but i definitely feel like uh, this is someone you possibly follow on social media or you've heard of. Maybe you've seen their picture in the newspaper. Maybe they've popped up on social media before. I feel like there's been some online orbiting or stalking going on. They might have even already checked you out, Virgo. They're going to be very attracted to you, though, especially your analytical, that bright side to you. Um, mm, because you're ruled by... Uh, Oh my God, I'm having a mental blank. You're ruled by Mercury, okay? Same as me, same as Gemini. So this intellectual sexiness that you have, Virgo, is really going to appeal to them. And let's not, let's not deny it. You definitely have it. So um, you're definitely going to be captivating them uh, in a lot of ways here. So my, yeah, my spidey sense, it's telling me you were connected on social media and they tried to hook up with you. I get that there's some sort of, a, sort of an attempt or a reach out here with the Ace of Swords, but it hasn't come easy. You might have rejected them or shut you down, um, shut them down, but it's made them want you even more, Virgo. You've sort of kept them at an arm distance, but they're like, okay, I'm, I'm really interested. Um, again, they're a fighter. Ace of Swords is definitely a fighter, but their strength, the sort of strength is their mind. Okay, so they're very intellectual, okay, very smart, very good with their words is what I'm getting. They could cut people with a knife with their words. Um, so not surprised if they're in like law or they represent the government, the company, these big conglomerates. Um, yeah, they're very, very smart. You've got a smart cookie here. They're very proud of their accomplishments. They're, I feel like as soon as you see them, it's just going to be an instant connection. Like the way they carry themselves, their perfume, um, just everything about them, Virgo, is going to appeal to you straight away. Instant attraction um, is what I'm getting. Look, don't be, don't be deterred, but there might be some baggage from the past. We all have baggage, okay? We all have something that we, we carry with us, 
And I feel with the Page of Swords, there might be an air sign X. There might be this, this marriage, maybe the, they're, they're divorcing. There could be something here, but I don't I don't want you to be deterred, deterred by that, uh, Virgo, because I feel like you could have something really special with this person. And with the Justice card, this can be a breaking of ties. So I feel like for some of you, you know, it can be a little bit tricky because you might be hooking up with them and it could be like on the back of a divorce, mid-divorce, mid-separation. There could be a, a breaking. The sword is like sort of cutting loose ties. But I think they're going to be honest with you. Uh, water is emotions. They're being poured out of the vessel here. So I think they're going to be honest with what they're going through. And they'll be honest with, with their feelings. I think they're very much a straight shooter. And yeah, they're just going to be honest with how they feel, what's up with them, what they're thinking. And you know, I think, I think that's a good quality. I think it's something you will come to really appreciate, Virgo. Okay, because I'm definitely getting there's an ending. There's an ending around this person or around you. If you're ending or separating or divorcing, I mean, this could be you. And then they might be feeling a little bit stuck because like, well, I like them, but I'm scared. I just don't know where I'm going to end up. But I think as long as you're being truthful, which I think you will be, I think that's a lot. Um, I think that'll go far in this relationship. I do. But they will want marriage and they will want marriage with you. I almost feel like you will strengthen your relationship once you do get married. But that potential is very, very high here. Very likely, very strong possibility. Because even though they have a part of them that's looking back to the past, look how many cards face to the right, face to the future. So don't be deterred by that there's something here and it might annoy you it might not sit well with you but give this a chance let it blossom because the justice card tells me there's there's a balance with this person okay they will want things balanced and they'll be honest with you if things aren't balanced you know if they're still talking to their ex or their ex is still messaging them i feel like they're going to be honest with you and if this is you in this situation then it's a message you need to be honest with them in case this is happening to you you need to be the straight shooter here um, but like I said, they are, they are very, um, strong minded. Okay. Is, is what I'm getting. There's quite a bit of water in the cards here. So they may have a passion for things, um, that speak to them emotionally. They could be, they could have quite an emotional side to them. Could also reflect things like they like to be on the water. Maybe they have a boat. Um, maybe they like to go fishing. Maybe they like to go to the beach. Um, Or this is what they do to disconnect. They could live somewhere near the water, but um, there's a water quality to this person. So water is emotion. So I wonder if their moon sign um, is in a water sign. So if they like a Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer moon, then that would, that would say a lot, especially Pisces because the page of cups, we've got the fish here. Um, but they have a spontaneous side here as well, which I think you're going to really like. Okay, lots of blues and greys. Could have blue-gray eyes, a blue-gray car, something that sort of stands out in this way. Like I said, I feel like they wear a uniform to work. They're in a good position. There could be a love for animals or pets, pet horses, pet fish. Um, there could be a social butterfly. Four of Wands is like they're invited to a lot of events or because they're well-connected through work and stuff um you're going to be invited to a lot of events where you got to dress nice look good it could be like galas dinners after work drinks birthdays launches um yeah being really active in the community so i i think you're going to have a lot of fun with this relationship They'll want to make things legal fast as well here. I don't know if some of you, this person's coming from further away, like they're an expert. I'm getting there's a visa or a green card or something coming up in order for the two of you to be together or to stay together. 
So maybe they're visiting your city or country and then in the future, you know, things start to get more serious and then you're like, okay, you might need to figure out some ways to do a visa or something um, here for the both of you, okay? But it is an exciting relationship, Virgo. Um, I think you've met your intellectual match here is what I'm getting. That's the words that are coming to me. Um, and I really think it's someone that you can grow and heal with together. And like I said, they're a powerful energy, as are you. And I think together you can sort of, you, you're like the power couple and you can sort of, I'm getting building an empire. So you might go into business together or have a lot more success in your life through this person. And, and the building of that together. So that's exciting. I will leave it at that. Uh, thank you again so much for tuning in. And until next time, Virgo, much love and bye for now.